hello. Who am I casting with? Introduce oh yourself. Gosh. My name is Aaron. What's your name? I, I, I'm Lex, bro. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It looks like uh, we're finally going live. Yeah. So I, uh, my understanding is that adaptation is the favorite here, as they uh, move into what appears to be a mid slash long A take bomb is going long A halls in this pistol round to make it a presence at mid. They realize that the CTs have. Placed at least one player at mid, there are actually two there um, as they move three through these A-Halls. So we're going to see whether or not Adaptation can make a hold with only one guy at A here against three Terrace as Mason takes down one at mid, Furley trades one with Invert. And here comes the A-Take now, the bomb is going in, they spot one at upper A as two guys are still fighting at mid, Handle takes down Furley after Mason gets dropped. 3v3 now, Drossel clinging onto that upper A before he gets headshotted by 100. And it looks like it's going to be a Terrace side pistol round win. Uh, as that bomb gets planted by Talc and handled in a 1v2 here with a nice shot on a Talc. Um, it's going to be a hard-pressed effort to get into the site. He ha he does have a kit, so anything is possible. Makes the bomb once. And he's taken down by 100. So, generally speaking, uh, a tough round to win as a CT on a pistol round. Um, but you saw their maximum effort quickly taking the victory. Um, they kind of did a mid-A split. And uh, we're able to get the entries at A when it counted, um, but really adaptation lost a lot of uh, a lot of players over there at mid, where they might have been able to get away from that if they just had not peaked. Moving into the eco round here for adaptation, we have a pretty standard anti eco one at mid steps, two lurking a holes, just waiting. Uh, adaptation, however, pushing three CZs into those A holes, takes down two, 100 and Talc, losing guns. Suddenly it's a 5v3, no losses for adaptation yet. Uh, maximum effort says F that, we're going B. Bomb going long B right now, only one there waiting for him, that's handled. Moving to the B bomb site, he gets a quick dink. But his reinforcements have arrived and now it's a 4v2 as Invert takes down Furley. Bomb goes down here, at least they have the bomb down as Illuminati's in a 1v3. And he's quickly taken down by Mason. Uh, great eco from Adaptation. Bit of a misstep there by, by Maximum Effort as they pushed two alone into those A-Halls and did not have the information they needed. Were surprised immediately. Uh, that's one of those things on those A-Halls. Uh, Aaron, when you when you actually talk about an anti eco, you need to get up there quick and either find out if they're pushing or just sit back, uh, which I don't think they did. Yeah, speaking of an anti eco, a great one for adaptation and really, uh, they're a pretty strong team, thirteen and zero. They are undefeated going into uh, this match. So you might call them the favorites, right? They I mean, I I was told right, adaptation probably going to take this one, but I lots of good players there on uh, maximum effort. I think it's a you know, season's one of those maps, best of one, who knows what'll happen. As maximum effort sitting outside the B-bomb site here, awaiting this molly to be depleted. Uh, they're on an eco. Handled is going to run into them in just a moment. Talc taking a 96 damage nade to the face. And here comes the B rush. Handle taking down one. But by collecting two more before Handle cleans up his second and Illuminati suddenly in a 1v5 over at Vents. Catches Invert off guard and he's going to be able to get that Galil back. If he can take one or two more guns off of Adaptation right now, this would be huge. Simply because, you know, it's not that big of a deal to lose a gun or two. But it's even bigger when you lose guns chasing this fifth frag, which they are going to do. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering why Lex is doing all the heavy work, I personally not very familiar uh, with Season. So thank you, Lex, for coming in here uh, on short notice and uh, casting this match. And you're doing such a great job. So uh, already two to one, uh, two rounds going to Adaptation. Maximum effort taking down a couple of guns that last round. Uh, so I guess an okay eco for them. Uh, so they will go ahead and buy up leading into this fourth round. Absolutely, and here's the third round buy from the Terrace. Um, Season's one of those maps where it's 
considered fairly T-sided. However, it can be even at the end of the day, depending on the, the breaks and the, uh, the pistol rounds. And a heavy mid setup from the CTs get cost them as Mason gets one tapped by Furley at mid. Invert picking up one and two on a hundred in Taco, and suddenly it's a 3v4. Low HP on Illuminati, low HP on Invert. And suddenly everyone knows that it's an A-take by the Terrace. Uh, we have the number six-man Talc coming up the a holes, and he's going to run into at least two, ter two terrorists. Uh, bye bye taking down Illuminati, and suddenly Tau gets taken down, and it's horrible situation for Furley. He's in a one v four. The counter terrorists are low. He might know that. He probably doesn't. He does have the bomb. Um, in this situation, as I think we're on a pause right now. Are you on a pause? Yeah, yeah. It does look like a uh, pause. All right, so I was a little behind on that round, so quick assessment. So they went for a mid-take early. Furley came out with a huge frag on, uh, I believe it was Mason. However, Taco and 100 got absolutely wrecked by Invert. Um, and that's the, that's the trouble with playing those mid setups, is it's almost like a chess match where if you push up on mid, the terrorist can make you pay. However, if it pays off and, uh, and you land your flashes, hit the nade stack, you can really cause some pain to a mid-take by the terrorist. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where who knows how the, how the shots are going to land, and it's, it's as, as a strat caller, generally speaking, you want to avoid that. But I think it was the right call by adaptation to say, hey, um, let's stop any sort of map control being taken by maximum effort early. Uh, let's play some heavy mid, and they actually picked up three frags right away, well, two frags right away, and uh, set them up for a nice a hold. So, you know, we have a pause here. Don't know what's going on, but um, I mean I'm going to check in chat here. Yeah, yeah, since we have some uh, time to kill, make sure to stick around, guys. We have three matches tonight. Uh, this one first, Adaptation versus Maximum Effort. Uh, then we have Elevate versus Netcode Guides. And then we have Area 51 versus Sapphire Kelowna uh, to round up the night. So we have an action fill night. So make sure to stick around. We got Lex here uh, calling the shots for you. Best caster worldwide, according to the chat. But uh, it's my first cast with you, Lex, and I apologize I won't be able to do too much or help you too much with the, the call-outs here, so... I need hey, to don't worry study, about it. Uh, I need to study up on my season a little bit. I was about to apologize, mainly because, uh, oh, we have a, we're back live, Furley in a 1v4. I'm going to talk over this as he's very unlikely to win it. Um, frankly, this is my first play-by-play, -play, so with a co-caster, certainly, I'm was destined, whether you were comfortable calling this match or not, I was bound to call over you, and that's... Uh, that's just a comfortability thing, and I apologize for that. Um, feel free to step in whenever you like. Frankly, I am uh, I love casting. Furley with actually a nice kill on a Babai as he's in a 1v3. Two of them are low. I really, really want to see him do this as he picks up a second, but Invert is going to close out that round with his uh, third kill of the round. Him and Furley trading 3Ks. So, uh, as I was saying, this is one of those maps where it does take some uh, intricate knowledge as far as how it gets played to give the viewers kind of some insight so I don't mind doing it but um I apologize as well for for being a loud mouth so if you want to go ahead and try and take this round feel free no I was actually gonna step in here invert uh, last round picking up three kills two of those with a glil got knocked down to four HP and then I uh, was able to round that round up getting the last kill so uh even with the glil invert is uh pretty deadly and he's actually gonna pick up the op this round So uh, let's go ahead and take it. I, I see no, let's see, who was that? No Sim picking up the first kill into Furley. So they are on Eco, maximum effort on our Eco. Uh, Soul's going to go ahead and pick up one also. So it's probably going to be a pretty quick Eco, and it is. So another round probably going to go ahead and go into <laughs> four to one. And uh, with that op, quickly into Taco. Taco with a nice kill right there. But uh, yeah, man, this is one of those... Ecos in this map are so tough as terrorists, you know. A lot of people like say, oh, well, you can just rush B. Uh, well, like, you can take mid. I Honestly, man, uh, as much as I've played this map, I'm not a source player. I'm not a 1.6 player, so I don't know how it was in other games. But in CSGO with Molotovs, with the M4 being the way it is, it is so tough to take sites uh, with any sort of ease. It's not a B rush on D2 or anything like that. Uh, you can't have any... You have to hit your shots, bottom line. Um... So we're looking at, we have a buy round here. Mason pushed up at mid again, taking down 100. The, the maximum effort needs to be way more careful going into mid here. They're forcing it into a, into a mid stack. 
not exactly what you want to be doing on this map. So, Furley picking up one on the Mason, however, Furley also getting dropped by Invert. Talc evening things out here. Uh, well, excuse me, 3v3. Um, so the AWP is actually playing a bit of a role here. Has have not seen that yet thus far. Uh, Draw Soul allows the plant but holds onto that horseshoe as he has a teammate on Cat and uh, two players in the A site right now as two are coming from CT and one from Upper A. They're going to get quickly surrounded here. Bye bye taking down Taco and then a huge kill on a Talc. Oh my gosh, and that was a beautiful op shot on a Talc, eliminating any hope from from uh, from any sort of cat help. And that's honestly, man, like that's. The key to this map is the retakes for the counter terrorists. So Season's one of those maps where uh, the rotations are long. It takes a long time to get across the map. It's really difficult to just say, um, you know, terrorists are going to this side of the map. Everyone rotate now. And it, you know, that's something every team's going to struggle with a little bit. Uh, I know my team does over rotate. It's because you, it takes the travel time is so so long across the map. However, um, you also talk about how easy the sites can be to retake. There's like four entrances into the A site if you count the door. Uh, Furley with a huge, this mid take's gonna work as he picks up a kill on a Mason. This is a mid to B if I've ever seen one. Um, bomb and a player going towards that jail, one through vents. We have three guys approaching the B bomb site here. Jail's not a, exactly a place you wanna slow down at as uh, there are two counter terrorists awaiting them to come around that corner. You do not wanna lose the bomb there. There's three terrorists in that choke. Um, Talc hanging out at mid. There it is, two kills onto the two terrorists at jail. And suddenly it's a 4v3 in the counter-terrorist's favor. Invert picking up another one in the Illuminati. That's hard to watch right there. Talc being the all-star says, I'm going to make a play. Pushes up to that office area and back towards jail. We're in a 2v3. Um, the 8-man number 100 uh, is actually inside of the B-bomb site with a potential pinch from Ch Talc. This could be a terrorist round win, but handled taking down 100. And then, oh man, a third kill from Invert. I tell you what, that's what I was getting at, is unless you have any sort of, uh, you know, you talk about going through vents, going through, uh, going through that jail area, that's okay as a terrorist. You got some nice smokes, you've taken mid control, you got a kill early. But you can't slow down at jail at any point just because you have CT and upper B to worry about. And, uh, and, and after you get into the B site, you have the B site to worry about. And as two players, a trade on three different players is just not going to happen. So another mid-attempt take by maximum effort. This is like the oh, fifth wow. round in a row that it's not going to work. Uh, as they lose three early on this eco. Tough to watch. I tell you what, that's one of those things in this map. As a terrorist, you either take mid-control or you let them have it. Invert with a huge flick shot on a taco. My god, man. These guys are good. Yeah, Invert, uh, uh, invert already dropping 11 kills and has uh, $15,000 to his name. So already, I mean, he's amazing with that op and, and that last second kill with that CZ. Uh, you can see why Adept is 13-0 and 0 right now. This play by them is just, just it's pretty much flawless. Uh, a couple rounds ago, they did lose three members. Uh, but other than that, they're retaking sites efficiently and they're protecting sites efficiently, especially the mid area. Furley is going off though, and Talc picking up one of his own. 5v3 now for the Terrace. Keys to victory here for Maxim Effort on T side. If you're going to go somewhere, get an entry. Trade on them. If you're not, avoid these peaks just like that right there, Talc on the bye bye. You can't, you can't be peeking and pushing places without a teammate near you to trade as you. Right there, there was two teammates watching Talc die. They did not push, didn't want to be presence made. Uh, it's just really tough as a terrorist on this map to not trade those frags and going out mid early by yourself pushing B by yourself those are great ways to lose um, as we saw right there you know they had the number advantage lost talc and now they're losing furly because they lost mid so they're in a 3v3 and the counter terrorists don't know it's B so they're gonna drop Illuminati but now it's a 2v3 with the bomb down inside of B site any moment now there it is. Um, this might actually work out for maximum effort. Again, the retakes are very, very easy for counter terrorists in this map. Um, it's tough to hold as a T. However, um, you know, the pot potential is there. They've already gained 15 seconds or so on the bomb timer. Now we're going to see whether or not maximum effort can get a kill here, even things out. Mason drops one. They know he's lower, so he's on a 1v2, takes down Mason. Here's the fake, and he has to push to peak, and bye bye takes down Taco. He's gonna get the defuse. I lied. Great play 
that's a clutch in my book, Taco. Maximum effort. Um, picking up their second round as that bomb timer barely escapes them. Um, and so they dropped all five counter terrorists and get the bomb to uh, to actually tick down. So now they can rebuy. And we have actually checked the monies right quick. The monies. Did I say that? Did I really just say that over stream? Uh, both teams a little hurt for money. Uh, but at least adaptation can drop. But Maxim Effort is strapped for cash right now as Talc has no head armor and one smoke. Mason picking up two huge kills. Man, his aim is on point right now. Almost picking up a third. 100 finally trades that third kill. And now in a 4v3. They are just peaking with no cares adaptation. And Illuminati picking up a huge kill on a draw, so get a little overconfident there pushing through that door. Now in a 3v2. Great round for maximum effort so far. Able to pick up some kills that were not supposed to go to them. Making their way towards the B-bomb site through that jail area. Uh, looks like Handled is actually coming back from lower. I hope they spot it because if they don't, they're going to be in for a surprise. They are not. He misses the shot. But he still <laughs> allows himself to get killed fairly. So in a 1v2, 100 and Illuminati already with two kills apiece on the round. Invert's got to make it a 1v2 to win with a defuse. I find out he is in the B site. Wow, huge CZ kill. Almost picks up the second on the 100. So that's the second round in a row for maximum effort. And uh, still, still both teams trading on each other. Um, but at least Maximum Effort that round was able to pick up some kills that, uh, you know, those one-on-ones that I was talking about are actually going their way. Yeah, I, I really, honestly, I thought Invert was going to have that one. Uh, he had that CZ. He was down on health, but uh, the, the other teams were too. And with that CZ, uh, we've seen him already tonight to pick up just some amazing kills with it. But uh, another round going to Maximum Effort. So 7-3 is the score line. Uh, op in the hands of Talc, and it doesn't look like Invert's going to go have enough money to buy the op, so he might be, uh, let's see how he does with the rifle. Right, as we have five rifles here from Adaptation, probably just forced by the, the fact that they don't have money, um, but maximum effort here, great opportunity to crush their money and win out the rest of the half. They need to pick this round up, um, and they need to be careful because... You know, when counter-terrorists are in this situation, well, there's one picked by Talc on the handle, uh, and a hundred on the invert. Wish GoTV was picking those kills up, but we're kind of seeing a cat take here as they are split across the map. But Adaptation needs to make a play, even up these numbers, or they're going to get pinched on a bomb site. hundred taking down Mason, and this round looks like it's going to go into maximum effort's favor. They're taking the bomb A with one at Horseshoe still, so we're going to see whether or not he can make a play. Drossel taking down one. See if he can grab some more. Bubba evening things out there. 2v3. They know where they are. They just need to hit their shots. There's one. There's oh. two. And it's a 1v2 for Furley. And he's got to run to get this bomb. No kit. No kit on that. And they're both down on health, too. And a 1v1 now, Bubba. Can he get the fourth? And he does. He does not have a kit either. This is going to be close, but he still can't f find a kid. He needs to save that gun, run away. Yeah, he's gonna he's run. dead. That's a dead man if I've ever seen it. Not going to make it. Another round for maximum effort. And honestly, they, oh, well, they did have that. So the, it was always down to a two on four. And I believe it was Bubba a no Sam uh, on little health picking up those, those frags. But uh, unfortunately, no kits. Uh, man, always buy a kit, guys. So it looks like a, a couple of CZs and a, just a small buy here uh, as the money is going to be an issue playing into this round here. I would love to see maximum effort take out another round here. Um, we see that they're low on money. Adaptation here is on a save, so they can buy next round. But if they win the next two maximum effort, if they handle this eco correctly, you know, we're talking about an 8-7 scoreline on this half. Illuminati, pick one more up for me, brother. There it is, and a 5v3. Uh, great eco so far by maximum effort. Uh, Anti-eco, rather. 
This is one of those maps where if you allow yourself to get picked early, the Ecos could go either way for counter-terrorist side. So Taco picking up two, and it's all up to handled. 1v4. He's probably just going to try and get a gun and save. Um, he so knows there's that Galil. Place. Yeah. Uh, before the they up the price of the CZ, do you think the adept would have all bought CZs and possibly had a better round? Uh, for because the CZs, let's be honest, on eco rounds are incredible. But since oh, they yeah, up the man. price of them, I mean, I've seen quite a few teams not opt in to buy it on ecos. I honestly feel like the CZ in general um, is still a great eco weapon, but beforehand, man, season would have been a nightmare to play. Uh, well, I honestly hadn't played it since last season when the CZ came out, so... Frankly, um... Counter-terrorist sides on this map, this map would be, like, almost heavily CT-sided if, if the CZ was still the way it was, but... Um... There we have it, 7-5 scoreline. Uh, the last buy possible from Adaptation if they don't win it. Um, more or less, so... Huge round for them, maximum effort needs to somehow take this round handily. I don't know what they're gonna do. They have three guys stacked up for mid against an A stack or a mid stack, but Furley takes down Mason. Oh, this is going either way. Three v three. Bye bye. Picking up his second on Cat, and that's a huge mid push. Illuminati trades out on him. Furley with only five HP, but draw soul and handled. Both oh. still alive. What and Illuminati, there. I gotta tell you, that is not what you want to do in such a close match. You do not want to need your teammate, but it is what it is. One v two. Spots one behind the A bomb site. The rotation is on. There are now two CTs in the A bomb site. One J Hall, one behind bomb boxes. Illuminati. No idea which one to shoot at. Gets taken down by Draw Soul. And so now the counter now the terrorists are broke heading into the into the fourteenth round, I believe. And so you really gotta save for last. And now you're looking at a ten five, potentially nine six scoreline for adaptation. So if uh, we want to get some plugs in here, this is a T side save. Forever hold oh, your peace. Lex. Lex with the plugs. I have not at any point during this cast said twitch.tv slash LexCS. I never said that, so don't even come at me with the plugs. Not yet. I mean, literally like not once. Literally not once. Do you have a Twitter? Anything like that you want to plug while you're at it? Get them all oh. out there. Alright, RGN underscore Lex, go ahead and follow me at Twitter. Uh, I do have a gamer Facebook as well. You like literally over there. have a gamer Facebook? How do you know? God, everyone is just... Even when I stream now, people are just calling me out for that sentence, and I will never be able to use that word again. I think it needs to be an emote. You literally need a new emote for that one. <laughs> Possibly. Alright, so last round score here, line, bro. last round and a half. Take it away, bro. This one's yours. I've stolen oh, most of this right. half already. I'll take <laughs> this one away here. Invert picking up the first kill. Bomb in the hands of Furley. And a couple of, or actually one Galil in the hands of 100. A couple of kills coming in. Furley picking up 100. Also dropping one. Three on three situation. Up in the hands of Handled. Drawsoul is actually uh, picking out the squeak. I guess that I'm going to go ahead and guess that squeak there. Picks up two. Wow. Picks up two quick kills. Gets that over with. And we're going to go ahead and switch. 10 to 5, your scoreline going in uh, to the second half here. So, uh, Adaptation 13 and 0 uh, in their league. And this pretty much shows why. They're, they're very strong. But maximum effort picking up 5 rounds on the T side going into the second half. Alright, so about the CT pistols again. I know I talked about it last half. Um... It really relies on individual effort at the bomb sites because the rotations are so far. Uh, it's not as easy to retake with pistols as it is with the, uh, with M4s. So, really critical to get that first kill. Um, don't allow the terrorists to trade on you. You want, you look for the one taps. You know you talk about hitting your shots. Well, this is where you need to do it as a as a counter terrorist. Um, Honestly, probably one of my least favorite CT-sided pistol rounds in the entire game is CT-sided season. I don't know why, but I hate it. Um, By the way, since we're we're on an ego here, or the pistol round that is, uh, just get out of the way, guys. Sorry for the lag on the GoTV. Unfortunately, this is ESEA, and they're notorious uh, for GoTV lag. So we do apologize about that. Uh, unfortunately, nothing we can do about that. It's, it's not too bad creeping. as it was the other night, though. Ah, dude, this is pretty bad. Adaptation coming into the A-bomb site. 
Takes out one at Horseshoe. Uh oh. Taco with a huge kill onto Invert. 100 taking down one more, and this is not looking good for the terrorists. They do get the bomb down, however. Uh, maximum effort just hitting exactly those shots that I was talking about. The one taps, the shots in the back on a terrorist unsuspecting. And Draw Soul just gets mobbed by counter terrorists as they come into the A bomb site and just obliterate the opposition. Uh, they did everything right there. That's what I'm, what I'm talking about when I say hitting your shots early. Uh, making sure that the terrorists can't trade on you. Only two members lost of uh, maximum effort, and they were both on the retake, I believe. Yeah, both on the retake. So now we're looking at a ball game, boys. Uh, this is, you know, tough to say. You know, adaptation can't do it. Yada yada yada. I, I was I was talking about the terrorist eco earlier. It's tough, like I said. But uh, maximum effort needs to claim these next two rounds. They need to do it. Uh, prevent any more bomb plants. As they are coming onto a B take, maybe going to hit lower on uh, on Illuminati. They need to have somebody else towards B if they don't know where they are right now. This is not going to be good. Immediately taking down Talc. Oh, jeez. I just jinxed everything about maximum effort. They have a gun in hand. They have the bomb site. They're about to pick up a second kill on a Furley. I don't know what that call was. Why would they only have one at the B bomb site on a Nico? But it is what it is. 4v3 with two guns. Is this adaptation side picking up one more hundred and taco need to save now, and they are going to press in anyway. And now it's going to be 11 to six adaptation. The eco did just happen, and that is a tough loss, man. I got to tell you, pushing up at lower when you're alone, probably the riskiest thing you could do in a video game. But and, and speaking of uh, picking up eco rounds, adaptation actually picking up two eco rounds. Uh, they had one last uh, at the very beginning of the match, and they picked that match or that round up, and also going in into this one. So they they seem to be very well uh, in picking up those crucial rounds on ecos. Yep, looking at an anti eco here from adaptation. They're just posted up across the map, and there is another pause. So at least we hope it's a pause. I hope so. Looks to be. So, 11 to 6 your score line, adaptation, doing work here, and uh, it looks like maximum effort's going to go ahead and be on an eco going into this uh, third round of the second half. So, these pauses, I'm telling you, nobody seems to have uh, some high ping, so it doesn't look like anybody might have disconnected. And uh, looking at the scoreboard, 19 kills on uh, Soul there. Uh, under All him, right. inverts. I'm going one. over to chat. Chat, ask us questions, talk to us. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, uh, link his chair mods, please. So yeah, chat. If you have any questions, anything like that, uh, go ahead and go ahead and ask. We got the legendary Lex here from Reliable Gaming. Whoa, legendary! Come on, you're literally legendary. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta make I'm the gonna joke, be legendary sorry. for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, literally. All right, so I'm not James Up or James Sup. I think it's James Up. Um, equality, equally, I love you too, rather. Uh, why do you have Polish fans? Okay, so way back when, in like week two of me streaming, uh, way back as in like two months ago, um, I had a Polish viewer viewing my channel named Doxu. Um, who was a famous, I believe he, oh shit, what kind of game is that? One of those free Korean Japanese games, I don't remember which one. Not the one that Skadoodle plays. Whatever, it's like Soldier Front, or I believe is what it was. <laughs> and uh, So he's famous from that. Was in my chat, and I was doing a giveaway. I gave away some, I think it was a Glock Water Elemental, like Stat Trek or something, like a nice skin. And, uh, and he won. And he was just like, he had only been in there for like two minutes, had won this giveaway, and was totally stoked about it because he didn't have any skins. He'd just been started playing CSGO. And so his like 10,000 followers on Facebook, he posted on Facebook and said like, check out the stream. Uh, this really cool guy Lex just gave away uh, Black Water Elemental, and I won, and we are unfrozen. I'm going to finish the story as they're just sitting up, posted up, waiting for this eco anyway. Um, and more or less, he just posted that on his Facebook in Polish, of course. I tried to do the Google Translate. It made no sense. 
Uh, actually, Taco picking up one on invert. That's not a great way to start the eco. And uh, and yeah, so suddenly there was a thousand viewers on my channel, and all of them were speaking Polish. So I spent about a day learning Polish from all these people, and uh, and they've since stuck around. I have a lot of Polish mods because I just this constantly Polish chat in my in my chat. Anyway, uh, they're moving towards the B bomb site here with all four players. That's exactly what you need to do on a, on a situation like this. You're down on numbers on an eco, anti eco rather. Um, you have guns, you have confidence, you have the bomb. But y'all need to move together, stick together, make sure you can trade on any sort of surprises from the CTs, any sort of bomb site stack. Uh, Talc, again, is the only one, well, he's going to have a backup here in a second as, you know, as, as the counter-terrorists gain information, they kind of figure out where the terrorists are, and they probably know at this point that they're outside of B, uh, as they are rotating two people over to B bomb site. Uh, also, it looks like Illuminati, no, sorry, Talc is lagged out. Somebody's oh, AFK and spawn and just got dropped. Uh, Furly getting taken down by Bobai. Mason taking uh, Talc out. So, Eco was handled well by Adaptation. Of course, they, I just realized now that they are on a power play as one of Max, Maximum Efforts was dropped due to some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but it, that's what you need to do. I guess what the pause was for. Right. Uh, that's probably what, you know... Especially when you know you're you're at an advantage, you just regroup. You t don't take any chances. You just don't give them any guns. Take the site together. Uh, so, really quick, back to your story. Down, How much you said you uh, try to learn? Have you learned any Polish since then? Have you took that? Uh, I can say things like "hello," "goodbye," "how are you." Uh, I can say "good morning." I can say, I say "good afternoon" to everybody. Um, I say "good night." How do you say "good afternoon"? Dobry wieczór. Man, you see, you I got to, like, like, rolling R's and rolling stuff. I can't do that. <laughs> Handled taking down Talc with a nice one-tap from an AK. Uh, yeah, they're, they're I, I gotta be honest. Play a man down, I guess. I mean, I'm well, guessing that pause was to, for them to reconnect, but it, it doesn't look like he did. Yeah, sometimes when you're in these situations, you just use your maximum five minutes and you move on and say, hey, like, we're already... We don't have a backup online. We're already in this match. And it's, the fifth is back now, but it's like... Yeah. Maybe you gotta play around without him. So the fifth, uh, well, he's back in the match here. And they're gonna, uh, wow, a swag seven for maximum effort. As I'm hoping Lex is still with me here. Oh, I'm still here. Okay. I just, just uh, I'm sure. staring at chat. <laughs> <laughs> Lex, do you need a phone booth to turn into Super Lex, or does that just happen when the world requires it? Uh, actually, it's my old Quake name was Super Lex, uh, and I took it to COD with me. All right, and I'll be I, honest with you, man. I got something to admit to you. My first cast with uh, you and I was. Will you call me Suplex? Match. I called you Super Super Superplex. Yeah. Superplex. I remember <laughs> this. This is no. This was not when I was unreliable. This is uh. Shoot, what team was I on? Maybe it was Mythic. No, 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 no. This I was forget. like I, I'm fresh here, at RGN, So this was like two okay. weeks ago, three weeks ago. Well, then you weren't the first because that's <laughs> people either call me Suplex or Superplex, and you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, but it is Superlex. And handled actually getting an entry here at the CT bomb site before being taken down by Talc in a two v four, and that is just painful to watch. That, that is just painful to watch. <laughs> And, uh, I that, love that was... it. Go ahead. Maybe not. Is he going to talk? I don't know. I guess I'll talk. Uh, that's Swag7 coming into work there. And uh, that's actually quite interesting. Maximum effort going ahead and pick up that round. Uh, it was a full buy for both teams. Adaptation uh, there just didn't uh, didn't do work, I guess. They went down a round. 7-13 to the score line. That last two kills with the Swag7. So go ahead and take this round there, Lex. Can you hear me? I'm all right. Yeah, now I can. All right. Sorry, I think I cut out in the middle of that uh, little speech I was going through. Invert onto Illuminati. A huge entry frag as they already have the A bomb site. They do have every bit of it. They're clinging to it. Um, bomb is going down very fast. They no one's probably going to come from Cat. One from Upper. One from CT. Taking one onto Kiko. And Hundred's going to pick up I one. Can he get a second? He can. And now it's a three v two. Huge kills. This 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 go TV lag is just giving me unbearable. Really, I 
Yes, this I have cancer from the fact that this is lagging so hard. Uh, that was hard to watch and hard to cast, but handled almost just picked up a 3k to basically turn that, or sorry, did I say handled? I meant 100, a 3k to win that for the CTs and failed on the third one. I wish, wish he had just said it, fuck it there, but it is what it is. 14-7, um, we're looking at a tie point uh, for the adaptation coming up here if they win this round. Frankly, I don't think things are going to go well for Maximum Effort, but they're putting up a good fight, man. Like This, this is one of those maps where uh, we got casted the other night. I don't know if you guys were here to watch, but we were playing I Buy Power and Lunatic, and we would make the rounds close. And as CTs, like, we would, we would go, initiate these clutches, you know, and it looks like it's going our way, and just the kills just don't land, and it's, it's, it sucks, because, like, if you, if it was Dust 2 or any other map, like, and your retake is going well and you get shut down, it's like, alright, that's expected, because, because it's not that close, you know? But in this map, you feel like any clutch is possible at any given point in time. It's 1v1 now, invert and furly, bomb is down to the B bomb site. Yeah, Furley is now really low. I was low. actually paying attention to the chat, and I wasn't paying attention like I should have. They adaptation was up like four to one, or four to, or five to two, and it's down to a one on one. So, uh, I, I'm kind of sad that I missed all those kills, but something happened there, magical. Uh, but unfortunately, Furley's down to 14 HP, both with AKs in hand. Invert uh, with the bomb. It looks like he's going to go ahead and plant at uh, the A bomb site, and. Furley is huffing. He has his Nikes on. He's huffing it around there. And uh, it's going to be a walking game now. See who can pick up this kill. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's a one on one situation. We got two more games here tonight. Hopefully, the Go TV will not make us cry. He's going oh, for the Ninja man. Defuse. No, he, he stopped the Defuse. Oh, and gets the man. Kill what a invert. round by Furley. Furley, dude! Furley taking it and with that beautiful butterfly knife. Uh, it picks up another round for maximum effort. 8 to 14. So, let's see what they can do. I mean, adaptation needs two rounds. Uh, even if adaptation picks up one more round, uh, maximum effort could try for the tie. So, they're not out of the game yet. As I was saying, and that was a perfect example, man. I love when I'm talking, ranting out of my ass, and then things actually exactly prove my point. Like, this map is so easily clutchable for CTs. Like, retakes, very possible, always. You know, clutches, always possible. Like, unless you're up against huge numbers and things are smoked and, you know, flashed out, it could happen. And that's exactly what just happened right there. Uh, and it swung back for maximum effort right there, you know. But at any given point in time, your clutch can be realized. You can retake sites and still lose to terrorists because you're land, you're, you just don't land the kills. And uh, and that's what's been happening to Maximum Effort. They've been playing a really solid CT side. Um, and it's painful to watch them when they don't win after being up on... As we have a A take coming through here, running through a molly. Picking up one, two, three is Maximum Effort handled evening things out for himself after he watches his teammate get shot. Uh, the last one is going to be at upper A, and that's Mason picking up one trading out of Illuminati. So 3v1 now. Uh, doable for Mason. He is, they don't know where he is. He's at upper A. Just kind of lurking around. He doesn't have the bomb. Uh, interesting, interesting dis decision by the terrorist to walk for upper A, I believe it was. Um, but not a bad call. You know, it just happened to run through a molly and run into a three-man A stand. And Mason picking up one more in a 1v2 now. He's gonna get the bomb down. Yes. Nope, fakes it and Tal picks up the kill. I was about to say he's gonna get the bomb down and figure out that opera's up there and actually have a shot to win it, but he does not. Uh, so maximum effort stringing some rounds together here is they're gonna run into the anti eco. I'm gonna get into like the movie mode here, the movie voice. Will adaptation see their first loss? I, I suck at the movie voice. I'm sure you have a pretty good one, though. One man. One decision. Not really, honestly. No, that was actually uh. really pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so the eco one here. One adaptation. One adaptation. Moving into lore is all five and hundred. Hold mouse one. 
Only gets one, but he he doesn't have two to handle. Can't be too mad, but uh, again, these ecos being uh, being done all right now. Maximum effort not gonna leave just one guy at a bomb site, but uh, I don't like the pushing, man. I don't. Furley picks up a second, so it's three v two now. Two v two, and Furley in a one v one. Go TV so laggy. I wish that would have been a beautiful thing to see. Instead, it looked like a freaking pop-up book, or like what do you call this? It's like the the flip book, where like you flip the pages really fast and you kind of see the story play out. So Furley is a flip book hero, picking up that three entry kill. Uh, sorry, four entry kill into the site and then retake. So that's the tenth round for Max and Meffert, and we're gonna see a strapped but doable buy from the terrace. And uh, the CT's got to kind of buy out again, but they're winning rounds, so it is what it is. Yeah, Furley doing this work round. there. Furley doing uh, absolute work there, because on the A bomb site, uh, I think I believe it's upper A. He went back out to what I think it's called outside. Uh, he checked behind there, so they obviously have been working on this map uh, to know where to look. And he took down one of the adapt players, and then takes the also the other three kills. So he. Uh, He's a crucial player for this maximum effort team. 10 to 14 your score line. And uh, another swag 7 on the maximum effort side. That's 100. But that will be taken down. Uh, bye bye bye. So Furley picking up one also. And a couple of the adaptation members down to already 46 and 54 HP. So uh, the bomb will go down on, on the B bomb site. So go ahead and uh, call the rest of the selects. Oh, you're just gonna throw it on me like that, Dude, bro? I mean, I just don't know these callouts. They're so important. <laughs> it's like it's like I landed on Mars, and I'm just like, all right, cool. All right, all right, okay. So the CT is now one lower, one, two at jail, one upper. Looking at, oh man, huge kill from Kika Wanna Mason. Now it's doable as the entries come back in. They know one is still up. He knows he's jailed, and oh man, mm. Tauk picking up a second kill. All it takes is one, man. You pick up one entry somewhere, find a hole in the defense, and that just like that, the floodgates are open and the CTs can retake a bomb site. That's what I'm talking about. All it takes is one. Kika was able to push up, and if you looked, Go TV didn't quite catch it, but if you were looking at the uh, the radar at all right there, you had both terrorists turn immediately to flank and check out that lower as Tauk just strafed around the corner, picked up one kill, then moved on, picked it up for the second. And uh, the guy at upper just had to simply walk in and one-tap somebody, and suddenly it was a 1v4. So, maximum effort, doing what they needed to do. Adaptation has lost enough right now, and they have gotten the bomb down so they can rebuy. They are on bonus. So, as maximum effort, stringing rounds together, but needs to be careful. They need to protect their money, protect the investments they've made, uh, and make sure that they're not over-rotating. Um, but there are five guys going B. There's no question about it. 100 needs to make a stand right here for his team. Three coming up or two going lower. Mason picking one up on a Furley. 100 gets caught off by the drop. And oh, now it's a 3v5 with no entry kills by maximum effort. That's tough to tough to retake as a CT is when you get no entry kills. So we're going to see whether or not Tout can open things up from upper here. One. And uh, no, Kiko and Illuminati getting dropped. Tauk goes in same way. So, tough spot here for maximum effort as uh, they have no money and it's match point. You know, money in this game is one of those cruel mistresses which you, it either goes your way or it doesn't. And uh, just depending on the breaks, you could be looking at a match point with a mag 7 in your hands. Uh, and that's exactly where maximum effort is right now. They're thinking to themselves, man, if we had just won one or two more rounds on terrorist side, we could we could be saving for last here instead of forcing out on the last round as Furley gets picked up early. And this looks like it could go to adaptation as suddenly a 4v5 situation with no real equipment on hand. Maybe 100 can pick things up. He does get one, but there's nobody left in the B-bomb site, and adaptation is going to find this out pretty soon. Tauk picking up one as well. So we're in a 3v3. Uh... Not out of the question for maximum effort to do it, but Mason's already pushed up to upper. He's going to pick up Kiko and probably Illuminati, or Illuminati's going to pick him up. So we're in a 2v2. Uh, this is what we call an intense situation. And I want to sound excited, but I just, I don't think he'll pick up this kill here. Nah, there it is. So, uh, 16 to, wait, was that 12? 12? I believe so, yeah. 16-12. I think it was 
It's definitely 16-11. Okay, they didn't win that round. So yeah, 16-11 is the final score there. Adaptation uh, going huge. I believe it was uh, Invert on top had 26 kills, and then pretty much across the board, you had around 20-23 kills for uh, for the rest of Adaptation. Uh, however, Maximum Effort, Furley going huge. Um, 22 frags for his team, and uh, and after the sub out for, for Taco, Kiko was able to come in there and help out his team a bit, but uh, that was Taco that did drop. So, tough that they had to play with a backup there, maximum effort, but adaptation definitely showing that they're they're strong on season, that they're very capable of winning. Um, and there you go, it was a solid match, but, uh, you know, again, on, on, on terrorist side of season, you need to have at least, at least six rounds, you need to at least pick up a few more. Uh, excellent try and attempt at a comeback from, from maximum effort, but, uh, Put yourself in a tough spot when you're uh, you're in that situation. You know, you were you were talking about money uh, during that second to last mat or round, and honestly, I think that's what makes Counter Strike such an amazing competitive esport and such a great game. Honestly, because with that money issue, yeah, it can be cruel, but it makes it to where there has to be strat. There's a lot of lot of strategy into specific rounds and ecos and things. So that's why I enjoy this esport at least. Don't know much. Definitely. Yet. I mean, esports in general have been in my passion for years, but Counter Strike is new to me uh, as far as the longevity of my career, um, and I've never really had to worry about money. So, learning the money system, absolutely uh, a critical part of learning Counter Strike and uh, and understanding how games can go. And I, you talk about momentum. I don't like, I do not like uh, how easy it is to get good in this game, and I don't think a lot of people do.